Okay, I am going to put together a connector for the 5 volt USB-C instead of ripping the socket off the GoPro motherboard I want to make a connector and the only reason I ripped uh, uh, that I did it that way I started directly the first time was because the socket came off I had no choice ideally you don't want to do that I mean I, I, you know if you have to you have to um, and because more than likely you won't be using that USB-C port but there's a better way to do it so I've got my BEC um, and I've got these connectors and in here is one I've, did on, uh, I've done already but this is the part number uh, where is it right here this line <clears throat> and I'll put the part number I won't put a link because not everybody has access to DigiKey so I'll put the part number you can google it or whatever you want get it from uh, like some places in Europe or whatever I don't I don't know if you can shop at Mauser or DigiKey so that's how small it is the good thing is, this one, you only need to solder to the ends. 5 volt and ground are all the way at the end, so you don't have to remove pins. So it's not as hard, I don't think. So I'll go ahead and do one right now. Alright, let me uh, open this package and get my wire ready. Um, now, I'm right-handed, so my soldering, gun, um, soldering iron is going to come in from here. Which means, yeah, so my red wire is going to be here, and then it's going to come back around to the BEC. Alright, so yeah, that's how I'm going to solder this. And like last time, my camera's in the way, so it's going to be soldered right there. So I'm just going to do this off. I'm going to do both of them off camera. Okay, so I've soldered the wires, and now I'm going to glue it to this thing. This is a little 3D print I made, and it's like, what, 4 millimeters by 8 millimeters. It has like a step, and that's there so that there's room for this solder ball, those two solder points, to sit. Hopefully it goes on there straight. So, the trick to this is when you super glue, I use a little bit of glue and then I use kicker. The kicker tends to make the super glue hard. If you have any of that stuff um, come up around the socket, it's the pins themselves, like above the pins, you won't be able to get this on the motherboard because you, it has to be perfectly clean. If you get it on there, you can take an X-Acto knife and scrape it off. As you do that, you have to be careful not to bend the pins. If two of these pins touch each other, you don't know what you're shorting. So you got to be really careful with that. Or don't be careful, but go over it and then make sure you, you bend the pins back straight. I had to do that before. So I'm going to try not to get super glue on all over the place and we'll see what happens so okay I have used a zip tie I got some glue on there let's see if I can get this on there just get some around the plastic here okay that'll hold it in place well, let's see if we got any glue on the sides of the pins looks pretty clean now you don't want to test this just yet uh, because it'll just pop off once you get it on the socket board and then you try to remove it uh, you'll separate it uh, that's happened to me as well so now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna glob some glue onto the ends under where the wires are and that'll kind of anchor it That looks pretty clean. Let's see if it snaps into the uh, motherboard. All right, so it's gonna go in like this, red on top. If the motherboard's, if this is the top, that's the red's gonna go on top. It snaps in. Yeah, that's not bad. And I do have to pry it off. Just remember, if you do snap it in and it stays in, but it might be a little easy to pry off. The way I do this is I attach my BEC after I heat shrink it. I attach it right here with the right edge of the BEC lined up with the SD card uh, socket, the case, and that basically will hold it in there. So you will never have to worry about that. I mean, once it's shrink wrapped and held in like this, that won't come off and you're, you know, I used the Pololus and these basically have never failed on me. I had one go bad and I'm pretty sure I screwed that one up and that was years ago. Uh, but these things are so reliable. So once I 
attach it with double-sided tape that should never have to be removed really so that'll anchor it in place even if, if it's not perfect but right now the way I have it it's pretty good so as you can see it's it's in there I don't want to rip the socket off again okay. got the Palolu I heat shrinked it all the wires common ground uh, voltage in voltage out and again common ground so this is gonna go like this and then this is gonna twist back and hold it in place with double-sided tape but I'm not gonna just blindly stick it on there um, you know we're I have to say this so we're dealing with open circuit boards naked electronics right naked GoPros so you gotta be a little careful because there's you know there's no like I, I know that a couple people put the display on the wrong way and put the ribbon cables coming from the right instead of the left and instantly fried it so there's no guarantees there's no there's nothing here to make sure you connect things the right way so now it's all up to you so when you do things like this when you create connections and solder stuff before you just blindly connect something and give it power you got to check your work you really do it's very important to do that so you got to have a multimeter and then you have to do everything you can whatever you can possibly do to check stuff before you add power to it so here's what i'm going to do i've got my multimeter i'm going to put it in continuity first um you don't need to see it but you'll hear the tones but what's really important is that this five volt doesn't connect with anything else on the board so i'm just going to run this now these things are so small all right that's five volts that one's five volts this next one shouldn't be and it's not verify again five volts nothing nothing Okay, so the good thing is I won't be supplying 5 volts to some random place, all right? I'm going to bother. I, I, I want to make sure I do that. Okay, now I'm going to check voltage. I'm going to actually supply VBAT to this. And again, at this point, we're not hooked up to the GoPro. So if something gets fried, whatever, at least nothing's happened to the GoPro yet, right? Okay, so now there's my voltage. And I'll tell you, the hardest thing about this is doing this with this camera in the way. So, okay. So I'm glad I did that because on both of these, I made two of these. On both of these at the exact same spot, um, right next to the 5-volt pin, I was getting like 1, one to 2 volts. And nothing's connected to it except a little bit of super glue. I think it's just some residual voltage. So because of that, what I did was I removed the pin next to it. And let's see if I can show you just to be safe. That way there's no weird voltages. So if you can see it right next to the 5 volt um, wire, there used to be a pin there. And now there's a black like a missing tooth right I removed that pin yeah that's okay so point oh something so even the second pin next to it has some weird like residual voltage 0 0.01 and then when I start to get away at zero so that is weird isn't it okay I think I finally got it but more than anything this highlights why you need to test you need to test your work. Check the voltages. So I had to remove on one of them. I can only remove one pin and I was fine. On this one, I had to remove two pins. So, oops, that's five, 4.98, zero, finally zero. No weird leftover voltage. All right, so here, let me zoom in on this. Let's take a look at the next one. There's the voltmeter. Okay. Five. 
5 volts, 501, 0, 0. Yay. Okay, I didn't even like that 0 0.01. I just didn't want it. So, so if you're going to do this, I would recommend before gluing it, just like the other one, remove the two, at least the two next to the uh, 5 volt pin. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so to know that, that this works, we basically need to see the screen come on. You have to have the lens attached. And I've attached the screen, and I need to power it on, and we'll know we're getting 5 volts. Go flash. All right. Okay, so the five volt works. All right, we're good. Let me unplug this one. I'm gonna try the other one too. Okay, we'll disconnect this little guy. Use this one. Okay, it's in there. The power's on. All right, got my five volts. So they both work after some weirdness with that uh, voltage on the next pin. So we just have to remember that. All right, there you go. How to attach five volts using that part while we're waiting for that PCB and hopefully that comes out pretty soon this is kind of a pain uh, it is lightweight though I do have to say it's lightweight it's not much to it so all right there you go